Um, I explained in the introduction that there was a deep hatred of women embedded in gay male culture. Uh, and I, uh, it could be said, I think, that the hatred of women is fundamental to gay male culture. For instance, drag, the hostile, mocking, parodying of women has always been central to that culture. It still is so. And I think it represents the values of that culture. I talk in the intro about what was called at the time, in some gay men's writings, the ick factor. Now, what was the ick factor? Well, there was a workshop on this at a, a US National Gay Conference of the National Lesbian and Gay Task Force, which was the main lesbian and gay organization. And it was set up so that gay men could talk about how seeing women's bodies made them feel sick. Uh, gay men would talk about, for instance, seeing women's bodies, lesbian bodies on a beach and feeling that they had to vomit. Now, it's hard to imagine that a workshop at a conference could feature white people talking about feeling sick when they saw black people and so on. Extreme racism isn't acceptable to share in public and wouldn't be expected among people who saw themselves as progressive. But these gay men saw themselves as really radical, really progress, progressive, really in the forefront. So I was surprised, should, but should not have been, to see that visceral disgust at women's bodies. And I do remember um, in the early 1980s, when I was involved in politics in my teacher's union, going to a meeting at some men's house, and they were sitting around a table discussing. I went off to the toilet. When I came back, I heard them saying to each other how disgusting it was to hear women urinating. I don't think they heard me, actually, but they were just talking about women's urination because women's bodies were so disgusting to them that they had to talk about it. 